back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing this challenge lab. I'll be setting up access and identity in Google Cloud and this challenge lab contains five tasks. I'll be performing each of these tasks and I will provide detailed explanation about each of these tasks. So let's start with the lab. So I have already started this lab and I have opened the Google Cloud console here. Here click on activate cloud shell and activate the cloud shell. Open this in new window. Now the cloud shell is activated. In this challenge lab, we'll be creating a custom security role. We'll create a service account. Then we'll bind this IAM security role to the service account. Later, we will create a private Kubernetes engine cluster in a custom subnet. And then we'll deploy an application to this Kubernetes engine cluster. So under setup details, it just shows how to start the lab. So we can go through this challenge scenario. So here we are deploying, configuring, and testing a new Kubernetes engine cluster that we will be using for application development and pipeline testing by the Oracle development team. So this is a team name. And we must follow the standards, whatever they have mentioned here. So the cluster, this cluster should be deployed using a dedicated service account. So that's why we will be creating one dedicated service account and we will configure it with whatever privileges and the permissions they have mentioned here. And this cluster we have to deploy as a Kubernetes engine private cluster. And we have to disable the public endpoint. As per this, we will be configuring it. And we have to deploy this Kubernetes private engine cluster to the Orca build subnet. So subnet name they have mentioned here and this is the vpc name or build this is a vpc name these are the rules which we have to set it to service account so we have to bind these rules to the service account later we need to set this permission to the system security rule which we have created so once we create the new private cluster we have to test this by connecting it from the jump post so this is a jump post and from this subnet we need to connect so you can go through this let's proceed with the task one create a custom security rule so before performing this task, we need to set some environment variables. So I'll take you to the notepad here. So we need to export some of the environment variables. So we'll be exporting this environment variables. Custom security role. So this value, you can get it from the lab here only. So custom security role, whatever name you get in your lab, ensure that you update it accordingly. It's custom security role, service account, cluster name. All this, I'm passing it as an environment variable here. And even the VPC name and the subnet name, so this you will get it in your lab only under challenge scenario description you will get these details and the zone also am I exporting it as a variable let's copy all this go to cloud shell now this environment variable is set next we will be creating a custom security role so first let's set the zone copy this command using gcloud config set compute zone we are setting the zone to us east one You will get the project ID here. Now I can run this command. Now it's updated. Once that is done, we'll create a role definition YAML file. So using VI, you can create a role definition YAML file. So here, I'm creating a YAML file. Title, I'm giving custom security role. In the description, I'm giving permission. Stage alpha included permissions. So all these five permissions, we'll be attaching it to the custom security role. So let's copy this. So these are the rules which we are providing over there. Next, that is done. Now let's create the custom security role. Let's copy this. So here we are creating a custom security role. I'm passing gcloud I, im roles create dollar custom security role. So this, we have passed it as an environment variable. So it will fetch the value from that variable and it will create a custom security role accordingly. And if an iPhone project, it will pick the project ID then iPhone iPhone file, we are passing this uh, definition.yaml file. Now the security role got created. So you can go back to this, click on check my progress and this should be complete now. Now let's move it with the task to create a service account. Now we need to create this service account by this name. So let's go back to notepad. So let's copy this command. So here we are creating a service account. So here also I'm passing this uh, environment variable, service underscore account. It will fetch the value from that variable. This is just the display name which we are setting. So this has created a service account now. You can come back and uh, click on check my progress and this is complete now. Next we need to bind a custom security role to the service account. For this we have to follow the standards which they have mentioned here. So we have to bind these roles to that. So for that I have updated in my notepad here. So we will be binding this role. Gcloud projects add IAM policy binding. In the project ID you have to specify. They're followed by the service account name. Followed by the role. Let's copy this and execute it here. Now this is done. Let's copy two of this. So three roles we are binding. 
So we are binding this role to the service account. Finally, we will bind the custom security role to the service account. So let's go with this. So as you can see here, under hyphen hyphen role, here we are binding the custom security role to the service account. Now this is also complete. So if we go back here, you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now. This is complete now. Let's move it with the task board. We have to create and configure a new Kubernetes engine private cluster and the cluster name should be Orca cluster hyphen 410. So this one I have updated here. I'm passing it as an environment variable, this cluster name. And next we need to deploy this to the subnet Orca hyphen build hyphen subnet. So to the subnet only we need to deploy it. Then we need to configure this Orca hyphen private cluster hyphen SA. So this is a service account. We have to configure it. Then we need to, these are the cluster options. So we have to pass these options. So let's go back to our notepad here. This is a task for. So I'm passing here, gcloud container cluster create followed by the cluster name, hyphen, hyphen, num, hyphen, node. So we are creating one node. Then we are passing the IPv4 CID range. Then network, hyphen, hyphen, network, VPC name we are passing, followed by the subnet, subnet name. These are the other options which we have to pass. So whatever uh, they have mentioned in this lab. So all this we are uh, passing it in our command. Let's copy this command, go back to cloud shell, and execute it here. Now the cluster is created. You can click on check my progress and this should be complete now. Once that is done, we need to deploy this application to the private Kubernetes engine cluster. Done. We need to deploy this application to the private Kubernetes engine cluster. So before that, we need to connect to the jump post. Let's copy this command, execute it here. So now we have connected to this jump post so that they have mentioned here in the challenge scenario, if you check here. Once we have created the cluster, we have to test it if it is correctly configured by connecting it from the jump post. So we have to connect to this jump post. So once that is done, let's set the zone here again. Set the zone again. So now the zone is updated. So let's execute this command. So we have to run, the, run this way only. So now you can see the cube config entry go generated for this cluster. Ensure that you, you pass this hyphen hyphen internal hyphen IP flag along with this uh, get credentials. So let's install this plugin. So we need to install this plugin, gcloud auth plugin. Now the installation is complete. So if you go back to task five, so they have mentioned here, you have to ensure that you install the gcloud auth plugin. So you have to execute this command and install that plugin. Once that is done, you will create this deployment, copy this and execute it here. Once the deployment got created, once that is done, let's expose this, so copy this command and execute it here. So now the service got exposed. So what you have done is we have created a deployment. So the deployment name is this and the image, we are using this image. Then we are exposing this deployment and the name of the service we are providing here. And whenever we are creating a service, so we have to ensure that we pass this. So the type will be load balancer and the port is 8080, hyphen hyphen target, hyphen port, it is 8080. So this is the target port. You come here if you come here so you need to copy this command and execute over there so i have done the same thing over there so if you click on check my progress this task will be complete now so as you can see this is complete so now you can see the score is 100 out of 100 so we have completed all of this task in this challenge lab what we have done in this lab is we have created a custom security role and added permission to the custom security role then we had created a service account then in the task three, we have binded this custom security role to the service account. And also we binded some of the roles to the service account. And then we have created and configured a new Kubernetes engine cluster. Then we have deployed the application to the this Kubernetes engine cluster. So I will be attaching this notepad to my GitHub repository and I will leave the link in the description. So you can download this notepad from the GitHub repository and refer to these steps and complete your lab. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.